Thank you for buying this uh, sunglass, reading glass display from FictureDisplays.com. Here's all the parts. A quick stamp shot, two upper towers, a connector, wood piece, and then the bottom cabinet, as well as the rotating tube. And this is the le uh, the door. Has a come with a uh, hinge in there, and this is the uh, left, right, and back panels. The uh, the right hand, hand side panel has a little uh, slot in there for the uh, lock tongue to go into. And here's the bottom. The bottom is, is pretty easy to tell. There's a uh, eight pre-drilled holes for the casters. And here's the top. The top has a hole as well as the uh, magnet to keep the door shut. And these are the uh, dowels for um, for nose bridging and as well as the header and the ball bearing as well as the metal connectors to con help connecting the two upper towers and the corresponding screws. Now we're going to get started to install the uh, parts to the base. There are four casters provided and screws. A power drill is not required but is uh, good to have one handy. You can also use any uh, uh, screwdriver you have that would be better than the uh, screwdriver come with the, the package if it comes with one. The tube goes through the top and make sure you identify the direction of the tube, uh, the, the board. The board, the uh, direction with a lot of screw holes are the inside. Then fasten the flange to the top with the three screws. This has an um, Allen wrench come with it. You can use your own again, or you can use the one provided. This Allen wrench is provided in the package. Now that you have the bo bottom and top assembled, you can start work on the four panels, the door, left, back, and right. First, you want to install the lock to the door panel. There is a screw to fasten the barrel. Once this is done, you can then install the tongue. And then use a screw to finish it off. Now fasten in the last stage uh, initially, just you just want to get it working and test before you fasten it all. And the these uh, other panels have a fair amount of uh, pre-installed nuts on the board. That's where you would insert the the screws into. These connecting bolts is threaded on one side, and again a power drill would uh, save a lot of time to get them installed. Then you would install the left and right on top of the backboard, and then the top and bottom um, bolts would just insert into the holes at the edge of the board. There are several bolts going into the boards, so you want to coordinate that and do that gently. Once it's in, you can then install the cams and then turn the cams with a Phillips screwdriver to lock the parts securely in place. It's fairly straightforward, although there are a lot of parts, you will find them as you come along. The last phase of the cabinet install is the door panel. 
There are uh, several screws provided. You don't have to use all of them, but use enough to make sure it's stable. And before you put all the screws in there, test the door, make sure it's closed properly, and the magnets all touch properly. And the tongue is actually against that slot in a ideal position. Then you can fasten all the screws. Here's the finished assembly of the cabinet. Fixture Displays offers a wide variety of products from business products, to consumer products, to pet products, and church products. We welcome you browse our website, fixturedisplays.com, for more products and services we offer. Now it's time to install the upper portion. First, install the ball bearing, and then the lower portion of the tower. There is a hole, as well as another hole inside the structure. You want to make sure uh, you get both of those. It's fairly easy to do that, uh, but you know, be mindful there are two holes lined up so, so that the tower can be straight up. Now you're going to find these metal brackets to connect the lower and upper towers. And use the corresponding screw. To connect them securely. This unit ships unassembled. And assembly, it does take some time, but uh, if you watch the video carefully, it should be fairly uneventful. By doing so, we, uh, we are sure the item can arrive uh, safely, and we can save you money by offering the lowest price possible. The wood brace in the middle help keep the upper and lower towers in ideal position. Without this wood piece, it can still function, but with the wood brace, it would make the, uh, would we remove any sagging in the center. So tighten the screws, and then you can locate your upper tower. Now when you do so, the uh, you want to observe that the two sides are different. The reason is you have to stagger the glasses so that they don't interfere with, with each other. So identify the direction and, and then you have to pull the center a little bit to allow the breeze uh, to be uh, sitting right in between properly. Now later in the video, I'll show you there are also markings that uh, the way you'll, you'll see that is that the hole continue in the proper proportion. Then you can fasten the uh, screws to the metal brackets on the side. Now the unit spins beautifully. At this stage, you can then install the uh, nose bridges. You can do so without any tool. At this stage, you can also remove the uh, protective film over the mirror. And this is the marking of uh, where you should align the lower and uh, upper tower. This item SKU number is 11601 in case you need to reorder that uh, down the road. If you need to get a hold of us, uh, you can email us at cs at fixturedisplays.com. That's charlie sam at fixturedisplays.com. 
then you can put the header in, and you can certainly customize your, your uh, header by uh, laminating a piece of uh, logo, um, and you can get that logo from any local sign shop of your choice. Thank you for shopping Fixture Displays.